Shepard, Cerberus strike squads have infiltrated one of the major cities on Benning. Initial reports indicated they were recruiting civilians, but further investigations suggest that the people are being taken against their will. For what purpose? Unknown. We sent a recon team to investigate and the Cerberus squads reacted by targeting civilians in public facilities. Officially, Cerberus is denying responsibility and condemning the action. They're either lying, or we're dealing with a rogue faction. And innocents are caught in their crosshairs. Exactly. Secure the area so we can establish a rescue lifeline to the rest of the city. Approaching the drop point, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. The people down there are counting on you, Commander. Hack it out. Building an avalanche of civilian SOS requests, Commander. The bulk are concentrated on the upper street. On my way. Keep me updated. Roger that. What is it, Lieutenant? I'm tracking civilians fleeing the city with Cerberus troops right behind. Where are they? Updating your nav point. You can intercept them there. They won't know what hit them. Stay calm. What should we do? Just stay down. Commander, more Cerberus troops are heading your way. If you can hold the line there, it'll give the civilians time to escape. You heard him. We hold here. Please.
You're clear. Go. Hold the transport. We're gonna make it. No hostiles detected in the immediate area, Commander. Reinforcements are moving in to secure the evac route. Good work, everyone. I'll pick you up at the LZ, Commander. of continuing strikes against other cities on Benning. Cerberus still denying responsibility? Yes, and for once we're inclined to believe them gunning down innocent humans isn't their usual M.O. Either way, the civilians down there have a chance now. We're solidifying the foothold and getting people out, then we'll move to liberating the rest of the planet. I hope we can say the same for Earth. One day, Commander. For now, we've got our work cut out for us. Carry on. Yes, Commander? How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. It's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. That's all. Of course, Commander. Yes, Shepard? What do you think the Krogan will do after the genophage is cured? As the one who cured it, my word will be law over all the other clans. Then your council will remember why they feared the Krogan. Sounds like you're looking for some payback. My people have suffered a great injustice. To let the genophage go unpunished would show weakness. At the very least, the threat of revenge will ensure an accommodation is reached. Violence can be a useful tool, Commander. Let's get back to work. Yes, there's a lot to be done. Don't worry, Edie. Once the Krogan are gone, we'll get rid of the smell. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there, and he's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we might need something calibrated. Yes, Shepard? Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. 
I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. That was a joke. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted.
Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Looking? Guess we found it. You bet. Got the same. Roger that. Meet you at the landing pad. Heading back to you now. Negative, Commander. Head got hot. Had to bug out. Got three birds on my six. Taking fire. Scratch that. Make it four. We'll run in when I can. Out. We just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. Nothing like being stranded. Never said it would be easy.
Cortez, do you copy? What's your status? Engaging multiple targets. Time to start the rescue. Lieutenant! Commander. Stay focused and keep at it. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander.
Shepard Services landing forces away from the Tachunka battlefields. Their target seems to be an ancient ground-to-space cannon facility that hasn't been used since the Krogan rebellions. The site has no obvious military advantage, and the Krogan are spread too thin to deal with it. Do we know what Cerberus is up to? No, but we do know that Cerberus doesn't act without a plan. Get in there and stop them. Find out what they're up to while you're at it. We'll get it done. See to it. Pack it out. Looks like Cerberus got that cannon operational, Commander. I'll go back up, get a read on what they're shooting at. Get on it. All right, let's find the control end of those cannons. Kill anything in our way. This I can do.